Hey guys, it's Bub here, and this year we'll be taking a look at Windows 8 build 8250, which was a build of Windows 8 that was released to the public on the on February 29th, 2012, on a leap year in 2012. This is a consumer build, so it's not necessarily leaked. It was officially released to the public. Now, this build of Windows was the first or the earliest build that is known to drop the flag logo from 2001 and replace it with the new tilted logo, which lasted between Windows 8 and 10, which was replaced by the flat square logo in Windows 11, among other things that we'll take a look at in this video. So, the first thing that I actually had to do to even get this build to boot was I had to change the hardware compatibility. I had to change it to Workstation 9X, otherwise there's an error that you'll get during bug check, which is pretty cool. So, I'm gonna go ahead, the first thing we have to do, because this is not a D-time bomb version, we have to go in and change the date. Actually, before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect the network adapter so that NTP doesn't kick in. Um, all right, perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and set this to March, we'll go March 18th of, it's got to be 2012 and then save. And now we should be booting, or not. Uh, that was a very cool. Did I not put the ISO in? I'm, I'm a little confused where the ISO is, but um, give me a minute. So when I up or when I downgraded the VM's compatibility version, I guess it got rid of the ISO, or it got rid of the DVD drive actually. But here we are. Here we can see that classic fish logo that I absolutely love. Um, I believe that was it was in Windows 7 as well, but it never made it past Windows 8. I think Windows 10, they kind of just went away. They didn't do that anymore. Um, but let's see what happens here. After a brief moment of panic because the OS wasn't booting, I realized it's because I'm booting off of a network drive. So here we are inside of the Windows 8 setup. I actually do like this background color, this kind of teal blue. I actually highly prefer it over the current purple. Um, but now it's asking us for a product key. I don't like how all versions of Windows 8, even the release versions, require you to put a product key in. Uh, they should just let you to skip that. But I'll give you a hint, if you use a KMS key, which were actually, I don't know if they still are, but they were available on Microsoft's website for a long time. Uh, they didn't actually activate Windows, but they bypassed that kind of, that thing in the out of box experience. So or the setup, not the out-of-box experience. So I can't wait to actually see what this OS looks like. I think develop, especially the development of Windows 8 is crazy. Like I like it a lot because there's, it's kind of like you find some that are in between Windows 7 and Windows 8 and I'm just really eager to see what it looks like. So we're now installing Windows. All right, and here we are. So let's go ahead and name our computer Windows 8. Um, and I believe that the lack of color, well actually, I don't know. Is this lack of color due to the fact that we don't have graphics drivers installed yet? Or did we just like actually lack that many colors back in the day? Um, we are not going to sign up with a Microsoft account. Just look how quick we're going through this setup. Like the animations are just so good. And I think that's it. Like that's all the setup we needed. Now we're logging straight into our account. Windows 11 couldn't do that. That's for sure. Windows 11 makes you reboot after a name change. This one did not. So I'm actually very impressed that this is going this quick. And here we are already in the desktop. That was actually a very quick install. I mean, aside from the fact that my network drive took absolute ages to install the ISO, but that's my fault, not theirs. I'm gonna see if I can get VMware tools on here. If not, I'm not gonna stress it too much. And yeah, just like that, it didn't. So now, let's see if we can set I really like these notification sounds I mean I I actually really do they feel modern let's see if I can set the resolution right there and we'll make it a little better we'll make it 768 which should stretch just like that now the OS is actually being laggy now because I changed the resolution it's not the screen recording it's the OS itself I am experiencing this terrible lag too because we don't have VMware tools, but I'm not gonna stress it too much. We're here to take a look at this operating system. So as we can see, the background here is the beta fish. The recycle bin icon is the Windows 7 recycle bin icon, which actually stuck through with Windows 8, which I thought was weird. The taskbar here is an arrow theme. It's like it's like Windows 7 arrow, but without 
the transparency effect. It's just kind of, I don't even know how to describe it. There's the show desktop button down there. It's kind of hidden though. I can't see it that well. Time, volume, network, Bluetooth, and safely remove hardware. We also saw the charms bar, which search, share, start devices and settings. That's, tip, that's what you would typically see um, in Windows 8. That is what it actually was. Take a look here in File Explorer. Let's take a look. This gives us a chance to look at the window borders. The window borders are like Windows 7, but they're squared off. And again, it's like there's no transparency, probably because of the fact that we don't have graphics drivers installed yet because VMware Tools doesn't want to work. But I mean, that's just crazy that it looks like it's, it's such a weird state between Windows 7 and Windows 8. That actually rhymed. I didn't mean for it to do that. Like we have this classic 20, 2009, 2010 orange highlight with just that. <laughs> like this is this is insane. Um, let's take a look at the start screen here. And this was really the start or one of the starts of ads in the start menu because we have Pinball FX2, which actually appears to come pre-installed. I didn't even I thought that was just an ad, and then Solitaire. I mean, for Microsoft's first venture into bloatware, or one of its first. The start menu didn't change much between Windows 8, or between this build and Windows 8, but it changed a little bit more between Windows 8 and Windows 8.1, um, including the addition of power button up here and the ability to view all apps down here. Um, but it actually didn't change that much from this build on. Now, I was actually one of the people, and everyone's going to hate me for this, I actually enjoyed the start screen. Um, I actually enjoyed Windows 8.1 quite a lot. It's, I mean, one, I, I actually really did like it. So let's see. Oh, this is a new, this is a full screen RDP. Wow. I actually wasn't expecting that. And again, prior to Windows 8.1, there was no top bar that you could bring your cursor up to to select minimize or X. So you just kind of had to drag it down to the bottom. Windows 8 could have definitely been executed a little better, but hey. And then there was this weird full screen Internet Explorer, which I never understood if this was separate from this Windows Explorer or if that was just a new Windows Explorer. I don't even know. Let's take a look here at Winver. Let's see. Windows 8 Consumer Preview 6.2 2012 expires January 15th, 2013. Well, we are very much ahead of that. And so with that being said, this is the brief overview of Windows 8 build 8250. Definitely interesting to take a look at this kind of stuff once every once in a while. I mean, I enjoy it quite a lot, especially with all the changes and things that, you know, you really see how Windows came to be Windows today. Because even if you don't think about it, this is a step in what we see today. Some components that were built in this build are still in Windows to 11 today. So thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe if you're new around here as do all kinds of different technology videos, including device restorations. With that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.